Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Synology DS410J 4-bay NAS server. Now this is one cool looking unit, I really really like the design of this. Now before I go on with the review, let me clear one thing up. Now NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, so you don't connect this to your computer via USB, you connect it to your router via the supplied Ethernet connection. And this makes all of the data that you've stored on here available to any computer or other device that connects to your network. Now the DS410J has a stack of features, but before I move on to those, I'll show you what you get inside the box. Now, apart from the unit itself, you get this little welcome read this first guide. And this just gives you some important pointers about the product you've purchased. Then we also get a Synology CD. And this is for these models here, the DS410J, 2Gen10J and 110J. And this contains a quick installation guide, user's guide, setup utility, data replicator software and download redirector software. It's for Windows based computers and also Mac OS 10.3 or higher. Also in the box we get lots of little packs of screws and this is used for mounting various types of hard drive inside the unit. And then we also get the power brick. This end goes into the DS410J. The other end has got an IEC socket on it for the power cable. And then we're in the UK, so we get a three pin UK plug. Just show you that there. So it's a three pin UK plug, and then that IEC connector on the other end. They also supply you with an Ethernet cable for connecting this to your network. Now let's move on to take a closer look at the product itself. So let's take you for a quick tour around the device before I move on to the features. This is obviously the front of the unit. We've got some ventilation slots at the top here, some more ventilation down the bottom. Then we've got a LAN connectivity LED. We've got a status light here. Then the power on off button right in the center at the front. And then we've got LED lights for the four hard drive bays that are inside the unit. Here's a side view of the DS410J. Extremely nicely made, a very well put together unit. Around the back of the unit, this is where we have got two fans for keeping the internal hard drives cool. Now this does take four hard drives, so thus they've put two larger fans in here. Uh, they are noticeable, you will notice this when it is switched on, but you wouldn't probably have this in your main workroom, you might have this in a perhaps a storeroom or a network room somewhere. Then we've got the inputs for the power supply, the Ethernet cable which supports up to gigabit speeds. Then we've got two USB connections, and this is for connecting perhaps external hard drives or printers. And then we've got a recessed reset switch hidden away in here. And then as you also notice, we've got four thumb screws here, and this is how we gain access into the unit itself. And you simply remove these thumb screws. And whilst I'm removing these, I'll just let you know, it actually supports uh, up to four two and a half inch or three and a half inch SATA hard drives. And it also supports solid state drives as well. So you could put four two and a half inch solid state drives in here up to eight terabytes in total. So once those thumb screws are removed, you just lower this bottom panel. And without removing this outer casing, you can gain access to all of the hard drive slots. And these simply pull out. You mount your hard drive in here, be it a two and a half inch one or a three and a half inch one. And then you simply slot it back into the unit. Now I'm going to give you a close up on screen inside the unit and right at the front of the DS410J are the connections for the SATA hard drives. So there's no extra connections to be made, it's simply slotting in and out will locate the hard drive onto that front connection. Now if you want you can remove this outer casing, it simply lifts away. And once that's actually removed you can gain access to the side of the hard drives. So when you've slotted a hard drive into the unit, you can actually secure it with the screws here so it can't be removed as easily. This isn't necessary, but I certainly would make a habit 
of securing my hard drives with the screws provided. Now putting the unit back together was the only tricky bit I found and that was just getting this uh, cover back onto the unit successfully. It just takes a little bit of manipulating to lower it down into the right position. Once that's in place, simple matter of just closing this back flap and then putting the thumb screws back in and you're ready to go. Now while I'm doing these back up, I'll just mention there is also a Kensington lock here so you can securely tether this to a desk for security reasons. And then I'll run through some of the features for you. Now the DS410J supports FTP and HTTP access. It is also DLNA and UPnP compliant, so it's great for use as a media server. There's also a BitTorrent client, iPhone apps, iTunes server, plus support for IP-based webcams. Now that is just fantastic. It makes me wonder if there's anything that this unit cannot do. Mac, Windows and Linux users will be equally as happy with this product. With CIFS, AFP, iSCSI, Telnet, SSH, NFS and SMP protocols supported. You also get RAID 0, 1, 5, 5 plus spare, 6 and 10 management. And all of this is controllable with the supplied Synology software, which you can see screenshots on your screen as I'm speaking. Now my use of this has been for streaming media to my PS3. I loaded this up with 4 terabytes of hard drive storage and then loaded some media such as movies and music and photos and it streamed all of this flawlessly. I also tested it for backing up both a Windows based PC and also my Mac as well. And using it for backups was really nice because I didn't have to worry about my Macs being in the same room as the DS410J. The speed is never going to be as good as a Firewire connection directly connected to your computer but the Ethernet connection on the back of this unit supports up to gigabit speeds, so I'm sure you won't be disappointed. It's going to cost you around about £269 in the UK or $349 in the US, and that's for the unit without any hard drives installed. Now that might sound like a lot, but you are getting a lot of product for your money. And also take into account that storage is so cheap nowadays you could load this up with 4 terabytes of hard drive for as little as £250 in the UK. So can I recommend the Synology Disk Station DS410J? Wholeheartedly I can recommend this product. It's superbly built and has worked for me without any problems at all. Well thanks very much for listening. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.